Our Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that this particular short exhortation will challenge your children, as many of them who will come across this, to praise you and depend on you for victory rather than murmuring. In Jesus' name, I pray. On a very quick short note, I want to talk on what I titled Barrier Breaking Praise. Barrier Breaking Praise. Friend, when all you have uh, tried seems to have failed and nothing is working well, why can't you just switch over to the gear of praising the law? There is nothing praises cannot do. Prayer move mountain, but praises move God. Each time you praise God, you are, you, are, you are just bringing down his hand. You are simply bringing down his hand into your situation, into your life, and into your problem. And I'm going to cite three important personalities in the Bible who uses the power of praise to break the barrier that the enemy seems to have put across their path. Number one, you remember the first king in Israel, Saul by name, the Bible says, he ran mad. He became an insane king, though still on the throne. And then somebody, you know, recommended by the spirit of the living God, now let's go find somebody who is skillful in the playing of instruments and singing. And of course, David was sought after. He came and he began to sing. Scripture says the insanity left him in first you know, Samuel, first Samuel. Chapter 16, from verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is cunning player, who is a cunning player on an harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from the from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. And that was how David came into the palace, and he began to play skillfully, and the spirit of madness left Saul. Now listen, why didn't they look for prayer champions, prayer warriors, prayer bulldozers? Prayer is good, and I do not in any way underscore, underrate what prayer can do. Without prayer, as a child of God, you are dead. Prayer is the spiritual backbone of every believer. But there are certain things that prayer cannot do, which praise we eventually do it at ease. At ease, I said, I repeat it at ease. You try praise today and see what God will do. Because when you praise the Lord, he taps his feet on the throne. Scripture says, the art is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. And this word as well is his footstool. When he begins to tap his foot on the cross, I mean on the throne, you discover that every problem in your life will shake away, will shake away. The second person I want to cite his example here was Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was a king of Judah, and three nations gathered themselves together to fight him. They were so determined to finish him at once. These three nations were powerfully sophisticated as far as uh, weapons of war is concerned, and they were ready to deal with Jehoshaphat, not in a small measure. They want to finish him at once. They want to wipe Judah away. And so these three nations gather themselves together, having one common enemy, one common focus, one common goal. And the goal was to finish Judah and the king. And they came against Judah invariably. And so King Jehoshaphat was confused. In his confusion, he sought the Lord. And as they were fasting and praying, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord came upon a particular prophet in his time, and he gave them the word of the Lord, that in this case, you don't have to fight anything. You are not going to lift up your finger in fighting. Just turn everything 
into a musical cantata. And so they turned everything into praising the Lord, and they were singing and praising the Lord. Perhaps those three nations must have concluded in themselves that we are talking about fighting, and these people are singing. Where? They've just simplified the assignment we came to do. As they will be singing, we will be killing them. Unknown to them that God has laid ambushment against these three you know, nations that gathered against his people. Scripture recalls that they help themselves to kill themselves. That's what praises can do. Begin to praise the Lord. When things are rosy with you, praise the Lord. When things are difficult, praise him at the junction of confusion. Praise him. When you enter into a perplexing, paralyzing situation, praise him. Circumstances notwithstanding, praise him. When you are happy or sad, praise him. When you've been promoted, you've been demoted, praise him. When there is a major victory or a major breakdown, praise him. When there is a kind of uh, emphasis for sin and uh, a kind of uh, you know disaster, a kind of uh, you know unpalatable circumstance and situation around you, you praise him. Never stop praising God. Never stop praising God. The more you praise him, the more he will raise you. When you are thankful, your tank will be full. Begin to praise the Lord, and you will see his hand. Jehoshaphat and his subjects were praising the Lord, and the Lord quickly finished his enemies. You just try it today and make it your lifestyle. Praise the Lord at all times. Praise the Lord wherever you are. Praise the Lord when the enemies have surrounded you. Praise the Lord when the enemies are turning to friends. Praise the Lord when friends are turning to enemies. Praise the Lord when you are mocked. Praise the Lord when you are when you are misunderstood, misrepresented, and misinformed. Praise the Lord when they lie against you. Praise the Lord when they decide to relegate you to background. Praise the Lord at all times. And you are going to see the, the hand of the Lord in your life. The final persons I want to refer to here was uh, Paul and Silas in Act of the Apostles chapter you know, 16, the Bible says these people were apprehended and they were, you know, kept in jail. At midnight, they began to sing praises to God. There were no hands for them to clamp and there were no legs for them to stamp on the floor. And yet they praised the Lord and the glory of the Lord came down. The Bible says in Act of the Apostles, chapter 16, from verse 24, who, having received such a charge over Paul and Silas, thrust them into the inner prison and Mailed their feet fast in the stocks, and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners held them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bounds were loosed. That's what praises can do. Praise God and bring him down into your situation. Praise God and bring him down into your family. Praise God and bring him down into your academics. Praise God and bring him down into your confusion. When you begin to praise God, there is an alarm bell in heaven that will be ringing, notifying God that a child of his, a daughter of his, is in problem. Lord, do something. A, ch a child of yours is in problem and he needs deliverance as you intensify your effort in praising the Lord. God comes down to do what he alone can do. See, when you discover in your life that men has behaved like men, like the men that they are, then begin to praise the Lord. It is then God will behave as God, whom he has always been and he cannot change. Remember, circumstances and situations are subject to changes, but God is not subject to changes. Praise him 24-7. Praise him every day of the week. Praise him every week of the month. Praise him every month of the year. Praise him when you are happy. Praise him when you are sad. Praise him at home. Praise him in the office. Praise him in the car. Praise him everywhere. You are not restricted. There is no any geographical restriction. Praise him at all times. And you are going to see his hand in your life. And you will be glad you did because I've never seen anyone who has taken time to actually praise God in depth, to praise God wholeheartedly without recording, receiving testimonies from the Lord. It is your turn. I challenge you. Give it a trial and your prayer life will change. God bless you as you be. Amen.